Hello, everyone. Uh, I'm going to start a new book. Uh, it's called Waiting for the Magic. Uh, the reason I chose this one, um, I was looking for one that had a dog character um, or pets, animals, because we've read Stone Fox and we've read Because of Winn-Dixie, both with the dog as a main character. Um, and this one on the back, it says, When William's Father Leaves. So, um, that was a connection to because of when Dixie also because uh, Opal's mom had left. So I thought this one would be a good one uh, to try next. I've never read it. Um, so I'll be uh, figuring out the story with you. First chapter. Chapter one. It was early on a Saturday summer morning when my mother and father stopped arguing and Papa walked away. He is a teacher of literature at the college, so he could have said words when he left. He didn't. And this time, he didn't slam the door. He shut it with a small, soft sound that made me jump. Click, said my four-year-old sister, Eleanor, looking up from her coloring book. I stared at the door. I could feel my heart thump, and I could feel tears coming. Later, when I went into my bedroom, I found two notes from Papa, one for me and one for Eleanor. Dear William, I've gone off to do some writing. I will call you, and I'll be back to see you soon. I'm sorry for this. I love you, Papa. I read Eleanor's note to her. It was like mine, but he had drawn a picture of Eleanor in her long dress. Eleanor took the note, but didn't say anything. Suddenly, Mama was in the doorway. She beckoned to me. Let's go, William, she said. Get your sweater, Eleanor. I stood up and tore my letter into small pieces. What's that, Mama asked. Nothing, I said. Go where? I followed Mama out to the car. She strapped Eleanor into her car seat. We're going to get a dog, she said firmly. I sat next to Mama in the front seat. Papa never wanted a dog, I said. That's true, said Mama. Your father is a flawed man. Everyone should have a dog. What is flawed? asked Eleanor from the back seat. It means stupid, said Mama, with feeling. Stupid is a bad word, Eleanor announced. She pronounced word as wood. Yes, said Mama. He is, a st he is a stupid bad wood. Eleanor had a list of bad words forbidden by Mama, who thought words like fat and stupid were cruel to call anyone. Mama began to cry then, very quietly, so that Eleanor couldn't see. I couldn't say anything. Mama's crying scared me. All I could do was hate Papa for this, for causing Mama to cry right in front of me. A driver cut off Mama and she slammed on the brakes. Go to your house, lady, yelled Eleanor at the driver. Read a book or watch a movie. Mama started to laugh and so did I. Those words coming out of Eleanor's mouth, that face surrounded by messy blonde hair, words that must have been Mama's at one time. What kind of dog are we getting, I asked. Whatever they had, said Mama. Can we get a cat, asked Eleanor from the back. Yes, said Mama. For a moment I thought about asking for a horse, but I didn't think Mama's mood about animals would last that long. Mama turned into the dry long driveway at the animal, animal shelter. As we walked to the front door, Mama took my hand. I shouldn't have said that about your father, William, she said. Will he come back, I asked. He had gone before and come back happily after a while as if nothing happened. Probably. I am mad at him, Will. But that doesn't make him bad. She paused. Sometimes your papa doesn't know what he wants. I didn't answer, Mama. He had gone before, but he had never left notes for Eleanor and me. Somehow that seemed more final, that note. It was something to be read, saved, or torn up. Maybe papa felt that leaving a note made going away all right. Thinking about it would ha would wait for later. In fact, when we went inside, I forgot all about my father for just a little while because Mama surprised me more. The shelter was small, and a woman with spiky hair invited us in. Her name tag said Julia. I'm glad you brought your children. We don't let families adopt dogs without children present. We walked through the door to a room where the dogs were. She turned to us. We have four dogs right now. There is a little description and history of each dog. When you see one you're interested in, let me know. You can spend time with him or her just to see if you're a fit. 
I assure you that they are all friendly. Call me when you're ready. The f <coughs> Excuse me. The first dog's name was Brian. Mama read about Brian. Brian's owner has gone to a nursing home and can't take the dog with her. Is it Bryn? It's Bryn, not Brian. Bryn was sturdy and brown with a sharp nose, long velvet ears, and a line of raised hair along her back. She sat up and curled her lip at us, showing her teeth. Friendly. Shark, announced Eleanor. Mama laughed. Hello, Bryn, she said. You're a pretty girl. Bryn wagged her tail. Her face changed when she heard Mama's voice. Biddy, the dog ne next dog, was small, with a terrier face and body. I read out loud to Eleanor. Biddy is high energy, too much for his family. And Biddy, as if he had heard me, jumped straight up in the air. Eleanor laughed. The next pen there was a greyhound, tall, standing still like a statue. Her name was Grace. Grace, I told Eleanor. She is very shy but friendly. She had a life of racing, but unlike many racing greyhounds, she is gentle with small animals. She needs a home with peaceful people. We are peaceful, said Eleanor. She put her hand against the pen. Grace looked at her steadily and then walked up close and nosed Eleanor's hand. Grace, said Eleanor very softly. One more dog, big and woolly, white and gray. Neo is very young, even though he is so big. He will get much bigger. He is part Great Pyrenees and... Eleanor interrupted me. He likes children and cats, she said. Neil looked at Eleanor with large, kind eyes. How do you know that? You can't read, I said to Eleanor. Eleanor just smiled. Mama had been very quiet all along. She was staring at the dogs one after the other. Julia came into the room. What do you think, she asked. Mama took a deep breath. Do these dogs get along with each other, she asked. Yes, they play outside every day. I think Bryn is the alpha, she added. Mama nodded. That means the boss, I told Eleanor. Is there one dog that interests you? asked Julia. Mama looked at Eleanor and me. I shook my head. I like them all, I said. Eleanor nodded. We'll take them all, Mama said crisply. Besides, beside me, Eleanor smiled her knowing four-year-old smile. Of course we'll take them all. Julia's mouth dropped open. But that is not done, she said. Then today is a first, said Mama cheerfully. She took out her checkbook. After a moment, the woman opened doors to the dog crates, and they all milled around us. Eleanor pulled on Mama's arm. Mama leaned down, and Eleanor whispered in her ear, Oh, yes, said Mama, and we want a cat, too.